Yo, 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 welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Big Daddy Momo. I hope you guys are having an awesome day today. You guys, I hit 2K. Thank you so much for all your support and joining me for live fight nights. It has been so much fun. That is like hands down, other than like my live streaming for gaming, like fight night, Saturday night is my favorite, favorite part of this channel. It's so much fun. You guys are so funny. I really appreciate everyone. So thank you for helping me get here. My next, uh, I would say milestone is 5k. So let's just get it. And we got Shale Sonnen cursing fighters. So he apparently curses the fighter that he says is going to win. So if you want someone to win, hopefully he will say or predict that the other fighter is going to win so let's just take a peek let's see what uh let's see what our uh, might sports has and be sure to go over there and like and subscribe might sports i love 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 their content and their videos so funny enjoy my sports bitches <clears throat> like this video if you like the video if you don't like the video <laughs> we don't like you on april 3rd 1977 a miracle happened a young prophet was born. Yo, why'd they put his adult head on this? Oh my goodness, it looks so strange. A young prophet was born. He would come to be known as the undefeated, undisputed. Chalius Solinus. Chalius Much like the tale of Robin Hood, Shale's story is one of riches to poor. He would give money to all who listened to his speakings, and the tale was simple. Whomever young Chalius would pick in a fight, all one had to do was put money on the other fighter and one would become rich. Official prediction for Stipe versus Engano is Stipe Miocic. By the way, guys, my predictions. Why is he like, how did he how did he predict that? Really? Against Francis Nagano? Really? Like, come on. Even I could have predicted that one. I've been so wrong. Is that the word? <laughs> wrong. Wrong. So wrong. <laughs> the people have even labeled it the Chael curse and begged me not to pick the guy that they like. Please don't pick this guy. I really like him. Don't put the curse on him. Look, it's very hard for me. I've seen it with the same two guys in the same weight class. And I've seen no evidence from Engano that things are going Engano. to be different. <laughs> yeah, for real. <laughs> Well, let me talk to you about Max and Dustin. Guys, let me let me just leave. And I love how he talks like he knows like so much about what he's talking. Like he's so confident too, you know what I mean? Like, no, I see no evidence that he's going to beat this guy. So it's going to be him. He's like so convicted in what he's saying, bruh. <laughs> you have to bet on Max. You have to bet you on Max. to bet on Max. Bro. <laughs> Why as much as I'm picking Askren, not only am I picking Askren, Askren's going to win every single round between Amanda Nunes and Megan Anderson. And when you start to break that match down for the X's and O's, you start to see a few very positive signs for Megan. Like, is he doing this on purpose? You think he's trolling you guys? Like, there's no way. How did he pick Megan Anderson over Amanda Nunes? Like, how, dude? How? You want to be faster than <laughs> Not only did she lose, she left the entire UFC. The UFC was like, I'm done with you. Like, just leave. Like, dude. I think the cater's faster than Max. <laughs> you want a prediction straight up? I believe Cowboy Cerrone finds an upset. <laughs> Round one. Call Round one. Over Dustin Poirier. I got to go with Tony Ferg. Dude, even I called this one. Come on. Israel Adesanya will be the light heavyweight champion of the world. With Jan Bohovic? Oh, my God. Come on, man. God damn it, Jail. Sports. <laughs> okay, I, I mean, I don't know. Is he trolling, you guys? Like, how is someone who is so experienced in this sport have such bad predictions? How? How? Like, how? Let me know what you guys think. Um, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe. So hopefully, hopefully that, um, you know, if you have a fighter that you love, uh, he won't be cursed by jail. And uh, don't forget to follow me in my on my social media links below. <laughs> and uh, thank you guys for joining me. And I'll catch you guys next time. Bye. I love you.